Hey guys, welcome to Extra's Bachelor Breakdown. I'm Hannah Kahn and I am so excited to be joined by today's guest. She's the Southern Belle from Colton's season of The Bachelor, who is sweet, strong, and stunning. With me Aww. now, Hannah G. Hi! Hi. I, I'm so excited. I am so excited to have you You're here. So and cute. I have been rooting for you since I learned we have the same name, Hannah. I feel like I connect with anybody who has the same first name as me. It's, is that a thing? No, I think it is a thing. It, well, it is now. It is. It, 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 this is proof. It, this is proof. It's proof. Now, we have a lot to talk about with the Bachelor finale, but Ooh, yeah. I feel like we didn't get to see enough of your personality on the show, yeah. so I want to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. So I have a game to play. I love games. Just for okay. you. This one is called Hannah Bonanza. Whoa. Bonanza. It's a banana. This is the cutest. <laughs> So inside this banana, okay. I have questions for you. Whoa. So you're going to open it, okay. you're going to read out the question, and then you're going to answer it. Okay, let's play. I love this. Okay. <laughs> it's a little silly. No, it's amazing. Okay, question one. What is something about you most people would be surprised to know? Hmm. Okay, <laughs> this kind of goes along with, so somebody along this whole entire experience um, mentioned something about how I might have gotten through with my looks my whole life. And that is absolutely false. Um, I was so not cool, like in middle school, um, early high school was not the cool girl ever, like never had dates in the beginning of high school and really? everything and um, super self-conscious and you know, just n never ever thought I'd be able to do like modeling or anything like that and then got my braces off Put, got highlights got in my that hair. glow up, girl. Yeah, I mean, it was like a glow up, and just, it's silly, oh. but, you know, it, I haven't just used looks for anything I didn't before. think so at all, by the way. And I like to connect with people from just being myself and personality oh. and stuff, so that was a You must relate fact. to Colton because of that, if you saw his yeah. Instagram with his picture from high school. Yeah, and we have we talked about that. Um, really? Mm -hmm. So I was just like, okay, I, I like it. I like that. No, you have so much more than looks. You can tell, I mean. So sweet. Ev everyone who I've met has said that you're just the sweetest person, also so, super funny. Aw, that's like, something. Yeah, the, you're. I can crack some jokes sometimes. And I think my favorite thing to make fun of is myself. Self-deprecating, um, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's a lot of moments I think that were just so goofy that didn't quite make it to the screen and stuff. I was but I say, have they the memory. Show everything. Yeah. And you right. know, they're showing us a lot of the intensity and the love and the drama. But right. it, we did see you rapping, and we'll get to that a little bit later. I did a little bit of rapping. It's a thing. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, this will be the last one. Who is your celebrity crush? Okay, do you want me to tell you my like first celebrity crush and then yeah, my, sure. Like one now. Yeah. Okay, both are. I think they're both married now. Oh, darn right. Who are they? Um, Nick Jonas, the old school, you know. Just, just off like, the market. Yeah, just barely missed him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like he was everything to me. I asked, I actually asked him a question once. What? It was like at this concert thing, and we got the chance to ask a question. And um, the girls I was with, we blanked out, and we ended up asking him if he was a sandwich, what sandwich would it be? And that was it. That's the only contact what I've ever had What did he say? Do you remember? I think they were like, Nutella, or oh, something oh. like that. And I was just like, I hate myself. I could have done anything. <laughs> no, that's, that's an I original flaked. question. I should start asking people that. If you were a sandwich, Hannah, what would you be? Ooh. <laughs> How did they answer this on the spot? That's a hard one. Um, maybe like a grilled cheese. I thought you were gonna say that. Really? I honestly, Hannah's. I read your mind. Hannah's because like you're a little cheesy, but in a cute way. You know, that's okay, like yeah. your sense of humor. Yeah. And like the blonde and the cheese, and it's delicious. It's like a staple. But I want to put Tabasco sauce on it. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. Yes. So I want like a little, little kick. Yeah, girl. And then also the Jonas Brothers are back together. How do you feel about that? Um. <laughs> Stoked on a different level. And I, you know, I'm like 24 years old now, and it's like, I feel like I should kind of be over no, that no, stage. No, you'll never get over um, it. Boy bands forever. I'm like just getting started, so. <laughs> so I'm who's your celebrity crush now? Um, Eric Decker is so sweet oh, and cute. It's and very cute. They're so cute together. Do you like, like that tall, athletic type? Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, and he's fine. Yeah, let's be real. He was fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you and Colton hit it off from the start. You got the first impression, Rose. I have to ask, if he had proposed to you, would you have said yes? Yes. Really? I thought he was going to propose to me. Oh gosh, and you yeah. said you were blindsided. So yeah. So you marriage was something that you were absolutely not only considering, but you were ready for. I just know for me that I didn't want to leave there without him, and I mm. thought he felt the same. And I know that um, there's engagements and marriages and all that stuff, but I, all I knew in that moment was, mm, I don't want to leave here without him. Yeah. Well, what was it like watching your emotional goodbye with Colton on Monday night? Terrible. No one <laughs> wants to sucked. watch a breakup. It sucked, yeah. yeah. and. Um, I feel like it kind of helped me find this newfound like bravery in myself mm. because the whole time I was just like I, I don't want to do this like it's scary and like knowing that after all of these months of you know having to go every day not it, I mean as soon as he closed the door behind him in Portugal yeah. I was like that's it like mm. whoa and so you know having to kind of put the puzzle pieces back together throughout all of the months after, it was hard. So, you know, it all came to that moment and I was just like, I'm not leaving here without getting all of these what ifs answered. I just, I, I, I was so scared that in my nerves I was gonna be like, I can't say anything, but in the moment I was like, girl power, let's yes, do this. so strong. Yeah, I so I'm that. just glad I got some answers and closure yeah. and, um, so I can well, move forward. What was it like hearing him say, I thought it was going to be you? It made me confused. Right? Yeah. Because um, I thought that was the case too. Mm -hmm. I think I just didn't really want to hear that, mm. you know, as he's breaking up with me. Because I was like, wait, then why are you leaving if you yeah. did think? And it, it just left me with so many questions. Well, what was it like seeing Colton for the first time on Monday? Um, hard because the last like good memory I had of us it was just you know in the United States before we left for Portugal he was like I'm falling in love with you and asked for my dad's blessing and you know I got the first rose at the rose ceremony after that and then he opens the door and just like broke my heart mm. and so I don't know for me it, I've had months to get over it, luckily. It's like, I know it's fresh for everybody else, but I think it just kind of brought everything back right then. But um, I could tell that he was happy. And even though, you know, sometimes, or some people might say he gave safe answers, seeing his happiness, I think that's the big picture of my closure and just shutting that door. You know, it's you like, you know what? You're sweetheart. Aw, you're yeah, sweet. No, seriously, uh, and we saw that the whole season. Um, your family is also amazing. Oh, I love them so much. Your mama, oh my. Can I do like a quick shout out Please. to them? Please. Hi, mom and dad, I love you guys. <laughs> Hi, friends and family. Yay. <laughs> oh, she told me in interviews, <laughs> she was like, Hannah, will you do this sometimes? And that'll be like, I don't know if they ever showed any of it, but sometimes I'd be doing an interview and I'd be like, oh wait, I'm gonna do this for my mom really wait, quick. that's so adorable. I love that, like a little secret signal. Let's do that. see that right Hi. now. <laughs> well, how did they take the news when they found out what had happened? Um, so they didn't have any insight of what was going on and they thought I was engaged. Oh. So that was a really rough phone call just because like I picked up the phone and you know, it's so real. These are real feelings, and it was so new then, and I kind of just kept thinking he was going to chase me and all this stuff because I was in denial, and I was like, so it's not me. And then they've just been so supportive and um, just so sweet and so helpful with everything. So I'm okay. super thankful for them, and I was so proud of them watching them. We all watched it together, the hometown thing, and... Such a great um, hometown. I know, they were so sweet and um, just the most supportive people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's wonderful. Uh, real quick, you said to Colton that Colton did to you what Cassie did to Colton. What did you mean by that? Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to say that or not just because I didn't want to throw off anything and their, you know, relation, put any, I guess, negative light on that. But in the moment, I was like just that. like, I have to say this, and I think 
what I meant by that was, you know, in the moment, I, I haven't watched the last episode yet and how everything worked out, but um, from watching the previous episode, she just went in there and basically didn't give him the chance to even get to know mm. each other, like in the fantasy suite. And so for me, I was like, well, you came in and you robbed me of that chance too. And he jumped a fence about it. And I was just left there like, okay, like just super shocked and blindsided. And so I think that's where I was going with that is just being robbed of the opportunity to even um, get to know each other. Mm -hmm. But how are you doing now? You seem happy and better. Yes. I have never been more strong and Mm -hmm. I feel like through this I found my voice going in. I was always just like, I need to have time to focus on myself and, um, you know, I didn't know like, here's my strengths and here's my weaknesses. Here's (laughs) what, you know, I'm passionate about it. I just kind of went in being like, let's just see, like if there's a connection then we'll go off of that. But throughout this I learned so much about myself and um, that's something I would never ever regret such yeah. a great attitude to have. Yeah. So you said that you didn't watch last night's episode, but do yeah. you have any thoughts about how everything ended? I just know that they seem like they are so happy together and um, that's something that I would want for myself and um, everybody deserves love, every single person. And I don't think that anybody deserves it less or more than the other. Mm-hmm. And so Cassie deserves somebody who loves her and that she loves back and so does Colton. But Hey, so do I. Of course so do you. Do. We all do. We all do. You deserve yeah, a man who's going to jump a fence for you, just like yeah. you said. Like, yep. you deserve a guy to jump a fence for you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. We all do. So the fact that he did that um, and put all of the whole, you know, the show on hold yeah. for his feelings, it shows how much he really did care about her, and it didn't work out for me, and that's hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's something I absolutely respect. And if somebody did that for me, I'd be like, Whoa. You know? Old move, yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy for them. Oh. Yeah. And are you and Cassie on good terms? Oh, yeah. I think Cassie's so sweet. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So the new Bachelorette has been announced. Yes. It's Hannah B. My girl. Our name. I know. She's repping us. Hannah, yes. Um, yeah, I love me some Hannah B. And um, I know she's going to crush it this year. Why, and Why do you think <laughs> she'll be a great Bachelorette? Because she's ready for this. Yeah. Um, she wears her heart on her, heart on her sleeve. Um, She doesn't hold back, Mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be a season that's different than what we've seen before, just because she's only herself and nothing else, and um, I'm really, really excited for her to find her person. Yes. Last night, she met five guys. I'm assuming you didn't see that. I heard about No, I've heard about things. Well, one guy named Cam, he rapped, Hannah. He rapped for her. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, he's, hey. And she gave him a rose. So, oh really? Yeah, she was. She she had a little rose ceremony. It was pretty cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. the raps. I'm telling you, it gets people. <laughs> That's why I do it. Well, it's just fun and like unexpected. Like I don't think anyone would expect you to be able to rap. But. I wouldn't expect myself to rap. But you do. I do. You do it, it happens. So well. I it love happens it. sometimes. People were hoping you'd be the next bachelorette. Were you open to the opportunity? I was open to it, um, but also. Anybody, I think anybody in the, oh, I can't, sorry. <laughs> um, I think Hannah B and I would have had totally different seasons mm. and it would have been such a different storyline and um, whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Mm. So, you know, maybe I'll find my person somewhere else. Perhaps. And maybe this is Hannah's chance. Paradise, Hannah? Perhaps. Would you go on Bachelor in Paradise? Um, I'd be open to it. You have yeah. to go. Yeah, we all want to see I love the beach, there. and I love love. So oh. I heard that you can find both of those things there. You so. absolutely can. Kendall was here earlier today, and she and Joe found love last summer. Yeah. So it's possible. It's possible. You never know. So, so who are you hoping would be in Paradise from Bachelor Nation? Ooh, I mean, I think I think Blake's a catch, so I'd like to see him there. A lot of people are shipping you and Blake online. I've seen that, but I'd have to, You, it's all about connection and how you are, you know, like I'd have to 
hang out with him to kind of figure out if that would work and everything. Yeah. So maybe paradise would be a spot to meet each other, who knows? But also, I wanna go in super open-minded and um, just go in with my gut. You never know what's gonna happen, but I would yeah. love to see you there. You deserve to find love. So, so I feel like we did get to see a lot of you on the show, but some things we may have missed. Uh, is there anything that you feel like we didn't get to see? Any funny moments or any? So many funny moments. Yeah. Um, there were a few um, rapping scenes that I think were possibly cut out more. Um, I think just like little memories. The gist is um, that I know me, uh, I think the gist is that I'm kind of goofy and kind of quirky sometimes and that's not, I didn't see a ton of, ton of that. Yeah, um, that's what I heard so, people said that about you. Yeah, so I'm excited for, to maybe get the chance to show the world that I'm sometimes funny. No, no I'm not totally. that funny. But I, I think I, I don't take myself too seriously, I think, yeah. so. And I mean, even when you came out of the limo and you had that box and there was yeah. nothing in it because of the whole like underwear Yes, thing, I that know. That was funny. I'm and so glad people understood that. At first I was like, I don't know if people are gonna have any clue what I'm talking about. No, so it, was, it went well. It, it went very well. Okay. So, <laughs> so by now it's no secret that you have some serious rap skills. So why don't we end with a little freestyle? What do you think about that? Um, you let's got this. do it. You got this, girl. <laughs> Hannah to the G, here to let you know, real is my game and I go with the flow. Sitting right here with this girl Hannah, I love this game and it's with a banana. Hey! <laughs> girl, you killed it! One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.